How's it going, Rogues Gallery? And welcome to another Flesh and Blood video here on Red Zone Rogue. Today, put on your tinfoil hats because it is conspiracy time. We have two or three current Flesh and Blood conspiracies going on. One of them will be proven either way in the next couple of weeks, but one of them is more of an ongoing thing that I think is super interesting. That one is that LSS and Flesh and Blood have been hiding the names of upcoming sets in the flavor text of older cards, like several sets before. And there is proof. There is proof. And we also, because of this, might have the name of the set after Dusk Till Dawn. And it could give us a little bit of insight on what might be going on in that set. And the other one is my theory about the Outsider's Fable being an assassin class fabled. Not only that, I think it might be an Arachne specialization. So let's get on with it. I have some proof here, and we're gonna give a couple little shout outs uh, to some folks who brought some of this stuff to my attention. So let's get on with it. So we'll go to my, my Twitter. Let's go to the Red Zone Rogue Twitter. By the way, if you don't follow me on Twitter, please follow me on, please follow me on Twitter. I tweet a lot about flesh and blood. So I posted, you know, I don't want to excite my fellow assassin players too much, but Flesh and Blood updated the official Outsiders card gallery, and the only open space, the space where the fabled would be, is in the assassin category. And then I took a screenshot of it here. And you know what? This could be a placeholder, you know? It, it, it could just be a placeholder, but it could also just straight up be the fabled card. And we also have some other talk about this. Um, where is the other post? I, I've also posted about how Arachne is the only character in Outsiders to not have a specialization, which is a little bit suspicious, right? They, they already don't, they have one specialization, they have Regicide, but it would be cool for them to get another one. Both Katsu and Benji, Riptide, um, Azalea, Uzuri, they all have specializations. So I was like, what, what's up with Arachne? Well, it could be this, uh, it could be this blank space here. Now, you could also be saying, okay, that is just a placeholder, right? Now put on your tinfoil hats, curl them just, just a little bit to get the reception because we are going to go to the official Outsiders page. So this is the official Outsiders page. It is still blank here, unknown. It is clearly, clearly under the assassin category next to Uzuri. Whereas like, you know, all the other cards have been filled in. So like the whole uh, Outsiders gallery is now filled in with the exception of this one unknown card here, which is definitely the Fabled. And you might be thinking to yourself, oh, in the past, they put the Fabled at the end, right? Yes and no, because it was brought to my attention on Twitter. Let's give some shout outs to some folks. Um, oh, where where is it? Someone Someone mentioned that, I think it's actually in this thread here. Someone mentioned that in Everfest, the Guardian class Fabled was at the start of the Guardian category. And let's pull up the Everfest thing here. So here we have Everfest. This is from the official Flesh and Blood website. And as you can see here, the Guardian Fabled is right in front of Bravo, the first Guardian hero. And so you look here, Assassin, Guardian, Assassin, bro. Bro, bro, I think we're getting, I think we're getting a, I think we're getting an assassin uh, fabled card here. Now, what is it? I don't know, man. It could be a gem. It could be a, an Arachne specialization. Like I said, Arachne is the only character in the set with no specialization. It could be a landmark. It could be like the spider's hideout. It could be probably not Blackjack's Tavern because Blackjack's Tavern's like not assassin specific in the lore. It could be like a gem. It could be a lot of things, but I, I think there's a very, very good chance that, that, that we have an assassin uh, fabled here. Now, that's that's conspiracy number one. We have one more conspiracy. Before we do that, let's show off this real quick, which I think is really interesting. Uh, it's not worth a, a whole video by itself, but this is the Road to Nationals prize support, I believe. And you can see the winner gets a cold foil Jubile, which is a little... I'm not sure. I'd rather have these two, by the way, the cold foil Uzuri or the cold foil Riptide. But... Judges get the coolest thing. They get this new character. Let's kind of zoom in. Enhance. Enhance. We're doing conspiracies, so like we're also doing enhance. Uh, Therion, Magister of Justice, with probably 
the light talent because they have the light border. And there's a really cool, like, uh, Volcor playmat here. Very curious as to what this is, uh, which is, you know, maybe in time for Dusk Till Dawn. And that is what you call a segue. So now we're going to talk about the other conspiracy, and arguably the more interesting conspiracy, because this one is a, a, a an ongoing conspiracy, right? So, uh, shout out to at Bramble Spark here on Twitter that they brought this to, to everyone's attention here. And I was like, yo, this is sick. Okay, so let's take a look at this card, Uprising. Now, when you look at the, the flavor text here, this is from Uprising, the card Uprising, from Uprising, says, every great cycle, a phoenix rises to challenge the dragon. Yet as sure as dynasties rise and fall, every feathered emperor soon grows scales. Why is dynasties capitalized? Hmm, that's kind of weird, huh? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Maybe it's just a coincidence, right? The next set is Dynasty, but maybe it's just a coincidence that Dynasty here is capitalized. Well, let's check out another card. Let's check out uh, Soraya, if we can actually go over. So here we have Invoke Soraya. So on her flavor text, it says, Enlightened One, illuminate our path with your knowledge that we may prevail from dusk till dawn. Capitalized D and D. Okay, that... That is not a coincidence. It literally says dusk till dawn on the card. And so, okay, so with that said, after scouring uh, outsiders for a similar thing, this is the only card that follows that convention. I double check to make sure this is true. So this is visit the floating dojo and it says grandmasters of old reside atop Skylark Peak. Now I don't think this is from Skylark Peak. I think that's just capitalized because that's a proper name. Amongst these transcendence he may find the answers he seeks now tinfoil hat transcendence i think transcendence is likely the name of the set following dusk till dawn or maybe uh, maybe a, a, even future set after that or maybe it's just transcendent M might not have the s but we have outsiders transcendence isn't like that far of a naming convention from outsiders right outsiders transcendence and if that is the case if this is true, then that means that it's very likely going to be a Mysteria set and not a metric set like a lot of folks, myself included, uh, hypothesized. Which is very sad for mech players, to be completely honest. Um, but we'll see. But we'll see. I think it's very, very likely, though. All signs are pointing this way. There are other, there are other cards that um, allude to it, like Flex here. Flex says... Um, the sun is setting on this dynasty, capital D. Tomorrow we rise up, my son. So, this is actually just this, this actually just uh, foreshadows the entire plot of dynasty, actually, because it says the sun is setting on this dynasty. The emperor dies. Tomorrow we we rise up, my son. Uh, so, yeah, uh, flesh and blood is definitely, and I think this is what sells it for me, Soraya and Dusk Till Dawn. This is definitely. Something that Flesh and Blood is doing, and they're sneaking in little, little hints at future stuff in past cards. And so this is a card from Dynasty that is spoiling Dust Till Dawn, which is a set that will be after Outsiders. Now, I haven't scoured through every single card to see if another card references Outsiders. I don't know. Uh, and if that's the case, and there's none of that, that also could mean that Transcendence... Might not be the set after Dust Till Dawn. It might be a future future set, right? It might be the set following that. Maybe the first set next year. But I think it's a very, very good chance that Transcendence is the name of an upcoming Flesh and Blood set. So that's that's the real spicy one here. I'm curious to know what your opinions are. I think it's really interesting. Really cool. I love this kind of stuff. As I shift some of my priorities in content and in just spending habits. You're going to see a lot more Flesh and Blood content here on Red Zone Rogue. Uh, the last couple weeks of Flesh and Blood and Dynasty just made me realize how much I love this game. Spoilers, it's an incredible amount. So we're going to be doing a lot more Flesh and Blood content here. We're still going to do some other stuff too, but I am uh, going to be doing a lot more Flesh and Blood stuff. And I think I'll be highlighting very interesting things like this more often. Um, I, I, I still think this is true though. Like, look at this, man. Like, Assassin, Guardian. Come on. Come on. It's gonna happen. It's gonna, it's gonna happen, y'all. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of these conspiracies down below. Assassin Fabled? Maybe? 
Uh, transcendent, maybe. And then what? What? What's up with this? Uh, what's up with this uh, Therion? Um, in some of the recent lore, we actually got to see some of the high-ranking officials of Solana talk to talk to Shiana. So, is this one of them? Magister of Justice, maybe, potentially, potentially. Anyway, we're gonna we're actually gonna stop now. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and uh, we'll see you next time for some more Flesh and Blood content. See you later, everyone.